You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough. to the car wash. <laughs> Look, Rosie, I drew a happy face. <laughs> what are you two up to? Rosie, you're all dirty. And Caillou, you should know better. Daddy, see? Only my finger. The car is filthy. You and Rosie need to go and clean up. Caillou, can you help your little sister? What have you two been up to? Rosie, you're all dirty. I'm not dirty, Mommy. And I'm going to help Rosie wash her hands. I think she may need more than just her hands washed. Our two young artists were drawing on the side of the car. <laughs> the car could use a good washing, too, then. Can we wash the car, Daddy? Caillou loved helping his daddy wash the car, especially on a hot summer day. I'll get the bucket. Whoa, there. I wasn't planning on washing the car today. I have a lot to do around the house. Do you think you'd have time for a quick run to the car wash, then? And Caillou especially loved going to the car wash. Okay, let's hop to it. We're going to the car wash. Yay! Rosie, too! <laughs> Looks like you've already been to the car wash. Come on, let's get you changed first. All set. You're gonna love the car wash, Rosie. Rosie had never been to a car wash before. She didn't know what to expect. Hurry up, Rosie! Caillou had been to the car wash before with his daddy, so he knew how much fun it was. You'll see. There are lots of soap and bubbles and brushes and water. Vroom! And the car comes out clean. Like new. Here we are. Red light, stop. Green light, go! Rosie was a little nervous as the car wash began. There was a lot of noise. Look! Water! Everything will be all right, Rosie. It's a little scary, isn't it? I'm not scared, Daddy. Rosie, look! Caillou, why don't you try to make her feel better? Caillou remembered that he had been scared the first time he went through the car wash, too. It's the dryer, Rosie. Just like at home. <laughs> Ready for the rinse cycle? I want to go through the car wash again. Home. Caillou's mommy and daddy had gone out for the evening, and Rosie and Caillou were excited because Julie, the babysitter, had come to look after them. Did you like that story? Yes! Let's play now. Look inside. I've brought something special to show you. What is it? Another book? Yes, this one's an atlas full of pictures of faraway places. Where's that? This is a desert, and those big piles of sand are called sand dunes. Sand, sand, sand! <laughs> I'd like to go there. What the? It's a camel. Look, it's got two humps. 
That's right, Caillou. And over there is a palm tree. And there's another palm tree. Caillou started to make believe he was in a faraway place. You're right. We must be near the desert. Can you help me find it, Caillou? Okay. Rosie helped too. I know. It's this way. Caillou decided that the basement would make a perfect pretend desert. We can make a camel. Good idea, Caillou. We'll need this. It needs humps. More humpies! Now for the blanket. leading Rosie and Julie through the desert like a real explorer. He felt very brave and adventurous. <sighs> the sun's very hot in this desert. Follow me. <laughs> it's a palm tree. That's great, Caillou. Come on, Rosie, let's go sit in the shade. <sighs> After all this traveling, I think it's supper time for the hungry explorers. An oasis is a cool, shady place with lots of palm trees where desert explorers can find food and water. <laughs> Look! More palm trees! They sure are. You chose a perfect place for our pretend desert oasis, Caillou. Aw, oh, looks like our littlest explorer needs to turn in for the night. Come on, Rosie, time for bed. <sighs> Caillou, why don't you look at the atlas while I put Rosie to bed? Be back in a second. Caillou was glad he didn't have to go to bed yet. He liked looking at the atlas and finding new places to explore. Mountains! Caillou tried hard to imagine where a pretend mountain could be. Suddenly, he thought of just the right place. Julie! I'll show you a mountain place. See? It's a big mountain. Let's go. Hurry. <laughs> okay, Caillou. I'm right behind you. <laughs> I see the top! We did it! Yeah! The famous explorers reached the summit. Let's celebrate. This can be a flag, like in the picture. I think it's time for Caillou the Tired Explorer's bath. Uh-uh. I want to play some more. Caillou didn't want to go to bed yet. He was having too much fun. Come on, Caillou. But I don't want my bath yet. Don't you want to explore this steamy tropical jungle? A jungle? Ready for a river trip, Caillou? Yes. Wow, what's that way over there? It's, uh, I 
no, it's a waterfall. I'm going to explore. Toot, toot. While Julie was draining the bathtub, Caillou was planning a surprise for her. Caillou? In here. <laughs> <laughs> this is my tent. <laughs> so I see. But even busy explorers need their sleep. Can I have your flashlight, please? Stars! Now you can pretend you're sleeping under the stars like a real explorer. Exploring is fun. <sighs> sure is. We traveled to all sorts of faraway places, didn't we? Mm-hmm. But I like home, too. Caillou couldn't wait for morning to arrive so he could tell his mommy and daddy all about his travels. All you can eat. Caillou was helping his mommy prepare a picnic lunch. Yummy! He and his mommy were going on a picnic with Clementine and her mommy. I think we have enough celery, Caillou. Why don't you decorate the cupcakes? Okay, mommy. Look, Mommy, I'm making a cupcake for Clementine. I made a face. Caillou, you won't be hungry if you keep eating like that. Yes, I will. Oops. Gilbert! <laughs> No more snacking, Caillou. You won't be able to eat your picnic lunch. Clementine, look! I made the picnic with my mommy. Hi, Caillou. I made the picnic with my mommy, too. Here, Caillou. I made a special sandwich for you all by myself. Mommy, Caillou's not eating his special sandwich. Why aren't you eating, Caillou? I'm not very hungry. I have an idea. Why don't you and Clementine play for a while? You two can eat later. Okay. You want to play hide and seek? No, I want to play tag. Okay, you're it. <laughs> While Caillou and Clementine were playing tag, they forgot all about the picnic. I'm gonna get you! Oh! <laughs> what are you looking at, Caillou? Look, Clementine! Squirrels! Looks like we're going to have two big hungry squirrels running back to our picnic. Mommy, look! Why, look at that. This squirrel is gathering nuts for the winter. Why does he have big cheeks? He's putting the nuts in his cheeks. And then he's going to store them in his house for the winter. Anybody home? You want to see the squirrel's house? The coast is clear. Yes! Caillou was amazed to see that the squirrel's house was filled with so many nuts. I'm hungry, Mommy. I'm hungry, too! Mmm, this is yummy! I made this for you. Mmm, I love cupcakes. Now that Caillou had his appetite back, he thought this was the best tasting picnic he had ever had. Caillou stays up late. Don't forget to buy some flowers. We want the house to look nice. Flowers, okay. What are you doing, Mommy? I'm getting everything ready for the party tonight. Caillou remembered that his mommy and daddy were having a party. Are we going to play games? No, sweetie, not tonight. Why not? 
Because it's a dinner party for grown-ups. I want to go to the party, too. You can't, Caillou. It's not for children, and it'll be happening way past your bedtime. But I want to come. Caillou felt left out because the grown-ups were having a party, and he couldn't be there. Well, I think we've got everything we need for the party, don't you? Yes, Daddy. But I just can't help thinking we forgot something important. What could it be? I know. Mommy wanted flowers. That's it. Do you want to choose the flowers, Caillou? How about these? Yes. Mommy would like these. Yes, she will. It will make the house look pretty for the guests tonight. Who's coming, Daddy? We've invited a few friends over for a supper party. Can I invite my friends, too? No, Caillou, not tonight. Besides, you won't have any fun at this party. Caillou didn't understand how Mommy and Daddy's party wouldn't be any fun. Parties are always fun. You remembered the flowers. I remembered them, Mommy. Thank you, Caillou. Can you help me put them in the vase? Caillou thought the guests had arrived for the party. Hi, Caillou. But it was Julie, Caillou's babysitter. Are you here for the party? No, I'm here to help your Mommy. I'm going to give you and Rosie your supper and put you to bed. <gasps> I don't want to go to bed. Hi. Come, on in. Come on, Caillou. Put your pajamas on, please. I don't want to. How's it going in here? Caillou doesn't want to get into his pajamas. He wants to stay up and go to the party. Hi. Great to see you. Caillou didn't like being left out of the party. Tell you what, if you put your pajamas on, you can come down and say goodnight to everyone, okay? Okay, Mommy. <laughs> Caillou came to say goodnight. I think it's time for bed, Caillou. Now you go straight to sleep, Caillou, okay? Okay, Julie. Caillou tried to go to sleep, but he was too curious about the excitement downstairs to keep his eyes closed. Good night. Have a good time tonight. <laughs> Caillou couldn't see the party very well from the stairs. He wanted a closer look. I thought you were supposed to be in bed. But I can't sleep. It's too noisy. Big boys can sleep even when it's a little noisy. Why don't we give it another try? Okay, Daddy. Good night, Caillou. Good night, Daddy. Caillou suddenly remembered he'd left his dinosaur downstairs. Caillou, you know you're not supposed to be up this late. But I forgot my dinosaur. <laughs> Mommy, are you going to play?
play games at your party? What kind of games do you think we should play? Face painting! <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny, wouldn't it? Now, Caillou, you really must go to sleep. I mean it. Okay, Mommy. See you in the morning, sweetie. Night, night. Night, night. Sleepy Caillou. Well, that's what happens when you stay up late. Look, I'm not sleepy anymore. Can I stay up late tonight? No, honey. I think it's going to be an early night for all of us. Backyard Zoo. Caillou was excited because he was going to the zoo with his friends. Daddy, Daddy! I'm going to see the monkeys, Daddy, and the lions! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Look at the time! Leo and Clementine will be here any second. We better go and get you ready. <laughs> Now, are you sure you don't need to go to the bathroom? Maybe I need to. We can't go to the zoo. I'm terribly sorry, but Billy has a terrible toothache, and I was wondering if I could leave Clementine and Leo with you while I take him to the dentist. Sure, no problem. Can you take us to the zoo? I'm sorry, sweetie. I just can't. I have a lot of work to do. And so does Caillou's daddy. Caillou, Leo, and Clementine were disappointed that they couldn't go to the zoo. I'm sorry you can't go to the zoo today, but you'll be able to go another day. Why don't you come outside and play? Mommy. Well, if you're not going to play, you can help me with the laundry. <laughs> Look, I'm a zebra. <laughs> and a very nice zebra you are, too. Clementine's a zebra. Clementine's a zebra. <laughs> zebra, zebra. Clementine's a zebra. Clementine's a zebra. zebra. Hey, maybe you don't have to go to the zoo after all. It looks like there are wild animals right here. Now, I wonder what kind of animal Leo is. Roar! I'm a big bear! Roar! <laughs> what about me, Mommy? What can I be? There's only socks. Well, I'm not sure, really. Let's see if we can think of something. I fixed the dryer, honey. What's the matter, Caillou? I want to be an animal like <laughs> Leo and Clementine. Hmm, that is a problem. Let's see if we can solve it. Clementine's a zebra, and Leo's a bear. Bear! Bear! But what can I be? Turtle! Turtle! Well, there's an idea. Would you like to be a turtle? <gasps> yes! Okay. Hmm, you'll need a shell. I need this. Caillou knew the laundry basket was perfect for making a turtle shell. Look! I'm a turtle! I'm a turtle! Roar! <laughs> Roar! <laughs> Caillou scavenger hunt! Caillou? Help me with these. 
Caillou had some new craft supplies, and he wanted Mummy to help him make something with them. I don't have time right now. Julie can help you later. I want you to help me now. Caillou was not happy. He didn't like it when his mommy didn't have time for him. Almost ready. Is Julie here yet? I want Mommy to help me. Mommy and Daddy have to go out now. Mommy doesn't have time to play. We won't be gone long, Caillou. Besides, you like playing with Julie. Hi, everyone. Hi, Julie. Come on in. <laughs> Hi, Rosie. Hi, Caillou. Is something wrong? Caillou was too sad to say anything to Julie. But it didn't take Julie long mm. to figure out what was wrong. What have you got there? I want to make something and I want Mommy to help. I can help you if you want, but I also brought a great game for us to play together. A game? Where? Right here. Where? Right here. It's all the stuff we need to have our very own scavenger hunt. What's that? In a scavenger hunt, you have a list of things that you have to find. What list? It looks like you're going to have lots of fun, Caillou. Bye now. Hmm. Now it says here the first thing we have to find is a feather. I can't wait to see how we do. Can you? To be really good scavenger hunters, we need to be ready to think a little. Caillou wasn't sure he understood what Julie meant. He was still figuring out what a scavenger hunt was. For instance, where do you think the best place would be to find a feather? I don't know. Where do feathers come from? Do you remember? Birds! Good thinking, Caillou. And a lot of birds live in the park, don't they? Look, Julie! Yes, I see them. Now, if there are birds up there, chances are there will be feathers down. I found one, Julie! I found a feather! Well done, Caillou. Let's keep all our scavenger hunt items in here, okay? Caillou was really enjoying himself. He could hardly wait to find out what the next item was on the list. It says an acorn. Where do you think you would find an acorn, Caillou? Here's a hint. Acorns come from oak trees. Oak trees have leaves that look like this. Me too! Look, Julie! Good for you, Caillou. See, I told you that you and Rosie would like this game. I found everything and Rosie found nothing. But you never know what she might find. Now, what's next on the list? Something purple. Hmm. Caillou looked all over the park. But none of the things he found were purple. Until finally... Look, Julie! Something purple! Well, it is purple, but I'm afraid it belongs to somebody else. We can't really take it with us. <laughs> purple! Good hunting, Caillou, and good helping, Rosie. <laughs> The next thing on the list is a bobby pin. I think that means it's time to go back to your house. <laughs> a bobby pin! <laughs> hey! <laughs> it came out by itself. Well, Caillou, I suppose that's one way to get something on the list. But the next thing we're looking for is a bottle cap. And don't bother looking for one of those in my hair, because there aren't any there. <laughs> okay, Julie. Let's think. Where would a bottle cap be? I got it! Way 
to go, Caillou. According to my list, there's only one more thing to find. A bell. Now remember, think. Caillou could hear a bell, but he couldn't see one. He began to think maybe it was coming from upstairs. Caillou followed the sound of the bell all the way to Rosie's room. The bell! Uh, I need it, Rosie! Caillou, do you think you could tell Rosie why you need her teddy's bell? Rosie, can I have the bell for our scavenger hunt? Hooray! You two got everything on the list! Hooray! We did it! Caillou just couldn't wait to show his mommy and daddy what he and Rosie and Julie had done that afternoon. You know, it would be nice if there were some special way we could show your mom and dad all these things you found. Caillou thought about it, and soon he had an idea. Great idea! Rosie and I will help. Hi, Julie. Hi, Caillou and Rosie. Did you have fun on your scavenger hunt? Yes! Look! So, Caillou, you got to do a scavenger hunt and make a craft, too. Aren't you glad you had Julie to play with today? I want her to come again lots, Mommy. Will you bring a new game next time, Julie? Yes, I will, Caillou. I love playing games with you and Rosie. Too many cooks. Caillou was waiting for his babysitter, Julie, to come and look after him. He loved it when Julie came over. Still no sign of Julie, Caillou? She's never been this late before. Well, I left messages everywhere, but I couldn't find another babysitter. I'm sorry, honey. I guess we won't be going to the wedding after all. Hi, Mr. Hinkle! Caillou liked Mr. Hinkle very much, and suddenly it dawned on him that Mr. Hinkle would make an excellent babysitter. Do you want to babysit me, Mr. Babysit you? Really? Mommy! Daddy! Mr. Hinkle's going to babysit me! Caillou! I'm sorry, Mr. Hinkle. I really didn't mean for Caillou... Don't be silly. I'd love to. Faster, horsey! Faster! <laughs> <laughs> How about a snack, kids? Can you bake a cake, Mr. Hinkle? The last time Caillou went to visit Mr. Hinkle, he was baking a cake, and Caillou really wanted Mr. Hinkle to bake another one of his delicious cakes. You really liked my cake, didn't you, Caillou? But since I won't be cooking in my kitchen, you're going to have to help me, okay? You can wear Mommy's apron so you won't get dirty. Hmm, we need three eggs. Can you get those for me, Caillou? Now we need some butter. That's great. Now, do you know where your mommy keeps her pots and pans? I'll get it! Mrs. Martin! Hi, Caillou. I heard your mom needed someone to keep an eye on you today. Mr. Hinkle and me are making a cake! <laughs> Hello, Mr. Hinkle. I'd love to help. What can I do? Very good, Caillou. Now we have to add the most important part. Chocolate! Hi, Caillou. I'm so sorry I'm late. Wow, it looks like you now have three babysitters. Hi, Julie. Are you here to take over? Well, I guess I'll get going too, Caillou. But you can't leave yet. You have to stay and eat the cake. Caillou was proud that he had helped bake the cake. And he was very happy that he had a lot of people to share it with. This is delicious, Caillou. Mr. Hinkle and Mrs. Martin helped me, but it was my idea. I think Rosie's enjoying it, too. Hello, we're back. Oh, hi, everyone. We came home early because we thought Mr. Hinkle would need some help. We're having a party. I can see that. And you have cake. 
<laughs> Look what we brought you. Mmm, thanks, Mommy. <laughs> but ours is much better. <laughs> <laughs> the Berry Patch. Come on, Caillou. We've got to get you ready to go. Yay! Are they here yet? Any minute. Here, I packed your bag. Caillou was very excited. Today he was going strawberry picking with Clementine's family. Hi, Caillou. Ready for our big day? Come on, Caillou. Time to go. Um, Daddy? Caillou was not quite ready to go. He had something he had to do first. I almost forgot Teddy. All set now? Have a nice day, Caillou. Daddy, can't you come too? Not this time. You're Clementine's special guest. We'll be back before supper. Clementine and Billy were having fun playing together, and Caillou felt a little left out. Why don't you two play a game with Caillou? I know. Let's play yellow car. How do you play? It's easy. The first one to spot a yellow car says it out loud. This sounded like a fun game. Caillou stared outside and looked around. Yellow car! Let's play red car now. I see one! I see one! I see a red car! I win! And I see a red strawberry! Look! Wow! wow. Looks like we're here, kids. Caillou had never been to a strawberry field before. He thought it looked like any other field. He didn't see any strawberries just yet. I think it would be better if Teddy stayed in the car, Caillou. Why? I always bring Teddy. Teddy will be fine here. He'll be waiting for you. Besides, you'll need both hands to carry your basket. OK, kids. I want you to wait right here while I get some baskets. I'll be right back. OK. Let's race. First one at the end of the row wins. Come on, Caillou. Caillou wasn't sure if he should since Clementine's mom told him to stay put. But he didn't want to be left out of the game. Go! Oh! Ow! Are you okay? Oh no, Caillou, look at your knee! It's bleeding! Mommy! Caillou wasn't hurt. But when he saw his knee all red, he wanted his mommy. Oh dear, what happened? Let's have a look, Caillou. You were supposed to wait for me. Let's see. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Look, Caillou, you're not bleeding. Are you all right? When Caillou realized he wasn't bleeding, he started to feel much better. He wasn't hurt after all. Mm. <laughs> Look, you fell on a whole bunch of strawberries. Where? See? You pick them like this. And you only pick the red ones, not the green ones, because they're not ready. So, let's get started. Here, each of you can take a basket. I'm going to fill my basket first. Oh, yeah? Well, I bet I could find the biggest strawberry ever. Caillou was very curious about the strawberries. He loved searching for the red ones that were hidden under all the leaves. They looked so good. Mmm, yummy! One for Daddy, one for Mommy, one for me, one for Rosie, one for me, one for Teddy. And so, Caillou picked and picked a whole bunch of strawberries. But his basket wasn't filling up very quickly because he kept on eating them. Come on, kids. Let's take a break and have some lunch. Look, my basket's full. Ha, I finished first. Okay, but did you find the biggest strawberry ever? This one's 
big. What about you, Caillou? Uh, I, uh, I wasn't finished. I won because I found the biggest strawberry in the whole world. Let me see, Billy. Wow. Billy, did you take an apple from the picnic basket? An apple? You cheated! <laughs> Lunch is ready. Come and get it. What's wrong, Caillou? You're not hungry? Caillou wasn't very hungry because he had eaten a lot of strawberries and his tummy hurt him a little. Oh, I see you've had plenty to eat already. Well, you can always eat later. But from now on, why don't you put the strawberries in your basket instead of your tummy, okay? Here, Caillou. Teddy will help you feel better. After a little while, Caillou's tummy felt much better. He had his lunch and was just finishing up. Do you want some juice, Teddy? Are you sure you're feeling okay, Caillou? Maybe we should head back home. But Caillou wanted to stay and pick more strawberries. He wanted his basket to be as full as Clementine's. But my basket isn't full. Mommy, I want to stay. All right. You can pick a few more strawberries before we go. Strawberry just for you. <laughs> and that's how Caillou spent his first day strawberry picking. He loved it so much that he couldn't wait to come back again. Caillou's suitcase. Vroom, vroom. I'm driving to the mountain. <laughs> Is it time to go yet, Mommy? Caillou was excited because he and his family were going on a trip to the mountains. As soon as I finish the dishes, we have to pack. Then we can leave. Whoa, these suitcases were sure well hidden. Here's your suitcase, Caillou. Caillou was pleased to have his very own suitcase. Only big boys have suitcases. I want to pack my suitcase now. Well, the sooner we pack, the sooner we leave. No, Daddy, I can do it. Here, these buckles can be tricky. There. Caillou was amazed oh. at the inside of the suitcase. There were all sorts of places to put things. He couldn't wait to put all his things in it. Do we have enough diapers for Rosie? Oh no, I forgot to go to the store. I'll go right away. I won't be gone long. When I get back, I'll help you pack your suitcase, okay? Okay, but hurry up. couldn't go on vacation without his favorite teddy bear or his favorite dinosaur. Caillou thought he was forgetting something important. But what? Caillou, could you come and get your swimming gear, please? There's no room. Caillou didn't know what to do. He couldn't seem to find a way to get everything to fit in the suitcase. It won't close. Caillou tried with all his might, but he couldn't get the suitcase to close. Something would have to come out. He just couldn't decide what to take out of his suitcase. He wanted to bring all his favorite things on the trip. What are you doing, Caillou? I'm packing my suitcase, but it doesn't work. Well, it sure looks like you put a lot of thought into what you wanted to bring, and that's very important. But I think you packed too many toys. We're only going away for a weekend, so you should only pack what you need. What are you going to wear when we go for a walk in the woods? Mommy helped Caillou pack the things he needed for the trip. And of course, 
they didn't forget to pack a few of Caillou's favorite things. Mommy, wait! We forgot Teddy! Do we really need all of that? I'm sure we have more than enough. Mommy says to only pack what you need. <laughs> and she's right. Maybe we don't need this one. Caillou helped Daddy pack the car with just what they needed for their trip. And it was a perfect fit. Try, try again. All week, Caillou had been waiting to go to the beach. And finally, Saturday had arrived. Come on, Caillou. The sooner you're finished your breakfast, the sooner we can get going. Okay, Mommy. Uh-oh. Here, Daddy, can you blow this up? Finished! Let's go! All right. Why don't you grab what you want to bring from your bedroom? I want to wear my new running shoes. Okay. Caillou, are you sure you want to bring all these toys to the beach? Yes, Mommy. Can you tie my shoes? We gotta hurry. You're getting to be such a big boy. How would you like to learn how to tie your own shoes? Okay. Here, I'll show you. First, we put one lace over the other and pull. Then we make a loop, which we call a tree, and this other lace is the rabbit. A rabbit? Really? Sure. He runs around the tree and down his hole. And see, your shoe is tied. Okay, now you try. First, one lace over the other. Mm-hmm. Now make the tree. That's the rabbit. Now where does he run? It's too hard. Do you want to try it once more? Caillou didn't feel like trying anymore. He preferred to put on his old shoes with the straps. He was very good at putting on those shoes. No, I like my old shoes. Here we go, Rosie. Off to the beach. Here, Daddy. Can you watch Rosie while I put these in the car? Okay. Uh, Mommy, my foot hurts. That's because you've outgrown those shoes. Here, let's put on the new ones. You know, it's okay you didn't figure out how to tie your shoes the first time. You could try again when you feel like it. I know, Mommy. We're here! Yay! <laughs> Yay! Finally here. <laughs> All right, Rosie, let's get some sunblock on you. I wouldn't want you to get a sunburn. And you're next, Caillou! Ah, a nice relaxing day at the beach. What could be better? Let's play catch, Daddy. Okay. No, wait. I want to fly my kite. That's a great idea, Caillou. No, I want to play baseball. Okay, baseball it is. Whoa! Oh, no! <laughs> I fell, Daddy! <laughs> I can see that. Are you okay? Let's play! Hold on, here's why you tripped. Your shoelaces are untied. I can tie my own shoes. Mommy showed me. That's great. Can you show me? Sure. Um... This is the tree, and uh, the rabbit climbs the tree and then goes around like this. Oh, it didn't work. Hmm, as I remember it, the rabbit runs around the tree and goes down his hole. Why don't you give it another try? Caillou couldn't remember how Mommy showed him to tie his shoe. He wanted his daddy to do it for him. Caillou 
decided to build the biggest sandcastle ever. He wanted to show Mommy and Daddy what a big sandcastle he could build. Woozy do it! And Caillou wanted to show his little sister all about building a big sandcastle. You fill the pail with sand, pat it down, and turn it over. Try, Rosie. Uh-huh. <gasps> I'll do it. No! Caillou couldn't understand why Rosie refused his help. He wanted her to listen to him. Ready? Go! It's flying! I don't think there's enough wind right now. Perhaps if we try it again in a little while. No, Mommy. One more time, please. All right. One more time. Go! Go, go! It's flying! It's flying! Look, Mommy! Very good, Caillou. You were right to keep trying. Come on, Rosie. Let's go to the car, okay? Caillou! Time to go! Okay, Daddy! Uh-oh. The rabbit goes around the tree. Uh-oh, someone's dawdling. I'll get him. Be back in a second. Then the rabbit goes down the hole. Hey, Caillou, we've got to get going home. My shoe came undone. Why don't you let me tie them and then you can practice in the car? No, Daddy, I want to do it. Okay, how about I help you? The rabbit goes around the tree and down his hole. Okay, now pull. Caillou, I knew you could do it if you just kept trying. Caillou was feeling very proud, even though he couldn't do it all alone. He had finally succeeded in tying his shoe. The New Leaf Where's Grandpa? He'll be here soon, Caillou. Caillou was very impatient for Grandpa to arrive. Today, Grandpa, Caillou, and his daddy were going for a walk in the woods. Grandpa's here! Hi, Caillou! Hi, Grandpa! Ready for our hike in the woods? Daddy! Grandpa's here! Hi, Dad. Would you like a cup of coffee before we go? Come on! <laughs> I don't think we have time. Looks like someone's in a hurry to get going. Caillou didn't know it yet, but this was going to be a very special walk in the woods. Come on, Caillou. When your dad was a little boy, we'd go walking in the woods every fall, just before all the leaves fell to the ground. And then we'd play a little game. What game? Your dad and I would try and catch a falling leaf before it touched the ground. Why? What's well, a family tradition, Caillou? It's something that you do with your family every year. Are you ready to give it a try? Here, I'll show you. My turn! Caillou thought leaf catching was a great game and looked up at the treetops for another falling leaf. There, Caillou! Nice try! Don't be disappointed, Caillou. Let's try our luck a little further up the path. Oh. Daddy! My boot stuck! Come on, you two. There's a wind stirring up. Might be plenty of leaves to catch soon. Here they come. 
Caillou wanted to catch a leaf too, so he did exactly like Grandpa and Daddy. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Got one! Caillou didn't exactly catch a falling leaf. This game was much harder than he thought it would be. <laughs> Can we try again? Absolutely. We have to keep trying until we catch the perfect leaf. Caillou tried and tried again. He wouldn't stop until he caught a leaf. And he wanted it to be the nicest leaf ever. But he was tired. And he thought he would never catch a leaf until... I got one! I got one before it touched the ground! Caillou had caught the most beautiful leaf he had ever seen. I'm proud of you, Caillou. You caught your very first leaf. Let's put it in the scrapbook. I'm going to keep it forever. Can we do it again next year, Daddy? We sure can. It's a tradition, remember? Happy New Year! Caillou and Rosie were having breakfast one morning. And Rosie wanted her tiger to have breakfast, too. Since you are so good at feeding that tiger, why don't you give our big tiger his breakfast as well? Our big tiger? <laughs> Gilbert! Caillou loved feeding Gilbert. Gilbert? I think he went outside. It wasn't Gilbert. It was Sarah's cat, Ollie. Ollie, that's Gilbert's food. That's the second time you've done that this week. Can you take Ollie home, please? And see if you can find Gilbert. Okay. to our house and tried to take Ollie's food. We were bringing him home. Ollie tried to take Gilbert's food. <laughs> <laughs> Gilbert? <laughs> Ollie? <gasps> Caillou, this is my cousin Lee Wan. Hello. Hello. Lee Wan's staying with us for Chinese New Year. Caillou had never heard of Chinese New Year's before. It's the year of the tiger. A tiger? We call the New Year the year of the tiger. But there isn't really a tiger. There is a dragon, though. A real dragon? Yes, we're going to see it tomorrow. Would you like to come with us to see the dragon? At first, Caillou wasn't sure if he wanted to see a real dragon. <gasps> yes! Caillou was excited that he was going to see a real dragon with Sarah and Lee Wun. What is it? It's to wish you lots of happiness in the new year. And that one is to wish you a long, long life. Do you want to help me put it up? Mom, Caillou said he wanted to see the dragon tomorrow. Is that right? Would you like to come with us to Chinatown, Caillou? What's that? It's where the dragon lives. I'll give your mommy a call and ask her if it's okay then. Did you clean your room, Sarah? Yes, mommy. 
We have to clean the whole house from top to bottom for the new year. Why? I don't know. We just do. Did you get a special New Year coin today? Lee Wun felt sorry for Caillou because he didn't get a special New Year coin and asked Sarah if they could give him one. Sure. Caillou had never seen a special New Year coin before. Happy New Year! Shinai Hao! Tigers. <laughs> Are you excited about going to Chinatown with your friends, Caillou? Yes, Mommy. Caillou was excited about going with his friends, but he was also a bit nervous about seeing a dragon. He wasn't so sure if he wanted to go anymore. You must be a bit scared about seeing a dragon, so I thought you would like the story about the big friendly dragon. That was one of Caillou's favorite stories. Once upon a time, there was a big friendly dragon who lived in a forest. All of his friends would gather around and they would... The next day, Caillou went to Chinatown with his friends for a special New Year's meal. Would you pass me the Jayatsi, please? <laughs> um, could you pass them again, please? <laughs> How would you two like some more Tang Yong? Here it comes. Go ahead, honey. Here are your Jayatsi. <laughs> that was pretty clever, Mom. I thought so, too. You can use your fingers. What's that? That means the dragon's coming. The dragon's coming. The dragon's coming. Wow! Caillou loved seeing the New Year dragon, and he wasn't scared at all because it was a friendly dragon. 